Rosie, Bishop wife, Sister Rosie, she'd always keep Margaret pretty busy around the house because, you know, she had a lot to do. And she was raised where there's a bunch of boys. I don't know how many boys she was raised among. I'd say five or six. Who is that, Rosie? Yeah. And they all petted her, they said, rotten. <laughs> so she, she put us girls to work a lot of times, I tell you. But Rosie could make the best big old biscuits you ever tasted for breakfast, Lord. And it'd take two or three big platters when I'd spend the night down there and everything. And I don't know, we just had the, a good time when I'd stay down there with Margaret. And, and when I get to telling her about, you know, the day I married, uh, Margaret and I had swapped some clothes, some dresses. Mm -hmm. And I had taken Margaret's. I got married in one of Margaret's dresses. I'll tell about that when that one time comes to that. Maybe in a minute, I'm going to let you take a break it. and let him hold this on yeah. his shoulder from me. I may have to take a break of talking to okay. you. Okay. But I want you to but tell about when you killed animals and everything and helping on the farm and everything. Can you switch it off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did right. I got it. Yeah, I see. Are we recording now? We're ready. Go. Okay. Well, uh, Ken wants me to talk a little bit about on the farm and all. Uh, oh, there's just bushels that could be told about that, but I'll kind of hit the highlights. Me being the baby of nine, eight, you might say, because the sister that was born dead, we never did know her or anything. But me being the baby of that many, naturally, you know, I could get by and not have quite as much to do as some of the rest of them. But I still was <clears throat> really kept busy. <clears throat> I had a lot to do because <clears throat> we, my daddy raised a lot of hogs and cows and, and animals of all sorts. And my mother raised turkeys and guineas and all of that. What would them turkeys do when the rain and everything? Oh, they'd get out. The turkeys sometimes would get out and they would just stand and let the rain just kill them. I mean, you know, they just stand and look up and the water would just keep coming down on them so we'd have to get a, we'd just, if we'd get a bunch of them, say, about half grown and we'd have to build up a big fire in the old kitchen at the fireplace and we would have to uh, bundle them up and dry them because they, they was a dying, you know, and we'd have to get them a dive. If sometimes the rain would catch them out of their pens. My mama had quite a few pens. She had certain pens she'd keep the turkeys in and certain she'd keep the guineas in. And uh, the turkeys.